Well, hello and welcome. It's me, Helen, from H&G Spirit Messages. Today is January 10th, Tuesday. So this message, this reading, is going to be for all signs. So pay attention. Let's see what's going on. It's for today, starting with the sign of Aries, okay? Fire signs. Aries, the card that comes up for you is the hangman. So when we talk about the hangman, Aries, you're letting go of something. You're letting go of either worries, problems. You're letting go of things that just aren't worth your fight. You're letting go of toxic energy. You're definitely letting go of something that's going to give you inner peace today. So whatever it is that you're trying really hard to push away from you, you're trying really hard to not give something your undivided attention anymore. It's like, listen, there's a coin involved here. So there's a heads or there's a tails, right? At this moment, you're on the heads, meaning you're making decisions, rational decisions by pulling away, by letting go, by accepting what someone's showing you, believing who they are. See, when somebody shows you who they are, believe them. You're doing this because you're needing so badly to find this peace. You're needing so badly to just feel okay again. So for now, the coin is on heads, which means you're going to move forward in this direction, keeping your peace, staying away, avoiding certain situations, behaviors, problems, perhaps addictions, whatever the situation is for you, Aries, your personal situation. This reading is general, so I can't be very specific for each and every one of you, but you know what your own demons are or what your own battles are. And that's what I'm referring to. You're trying to get away from this battle, whatever this is. Leo, another fire sign. You have the world card. So Leo, whatever decisions you've made recently, whatever choices you made recently, this is giving you <clears throat> wholeness. This is giving you completion. This is giving you achievement. So you're feeling like, okay, I'm working toward my goal. Now, many Leos, you may not have reached your goals yet, but you're definitely in the process of maintaining where you are, creating stability, building that strong foundation, and definitely preparing for further greatness, for further wholeness, for the achievements that you're wanting to accomplish. Sagittarius, last fire sign. You have the Knight of Pentacles. Sagittarius, trust your judgment. You have a very methodical way of thinking. Something is definitely going to take some patience and hard work. It's going to take patience and hard work in order for you to get where you want to be or need to be. It's not going to happen any other way. You're going to have to make a very firm and strong decision. You're going to have to fight off temptations in order to realize that if you want it bad enough, it's literally going to be right in front of you. As long as you're determined and you keep your patience, it's not going to happen overnight. You may not see results of your good work or your good decisions right away, but be patient because your patience and hard work will pay off. Okay. Air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, starting with Gemini. Gemini, you have the Six of Pentacles. Yep. Six of Pentacles is giving and receiving. So, giving, receiving. Financial prosperity. Gemini, what you put out, you'll get back. What you reap, you will sow. Now, understand that, Gemini, things may have been rough for a while. Money may not have been so great. Finances may be putting a lot of pressure on you. There's money to come in. There's a lump sum to show up. There's definitely going to be prosperity here for you financially. I also feel like whatever you're giving out, whether it's your heart, your love, your attention, your knowledge, whatever you're giving away is going to come back to you tenfold. So keep doing the right thing. Keep sharing your knowledge, your wisdom with others. Keep helping. 
because you're getting the blessings for it. It's coming. Libra. Libra, you have the three of swords. Libra, always trying to make a decision what you should cut out. It's like you already know. For some of you, it's about heartbreak. This is. For some of you, it's about betrayal. Someone cheated. Someone's doing something on the side. Somebody's not being completely honest with you. Somebody may be trying to even get, like, say, another job on the side and not tell you about it. Somebody's trying to make extra income in some kind of way. For some of you, and this isn't for everybody, but somebody may be trying to sell drugs or trying to sell something, stolen property, whatever it is. Somebody's trying to sell this because they stole it or it's not theirs or it's something that's very slick, very um, mischievous, very um, delinquent, whatever's going on with that person. You're going to get caught. Whoever that is, I'm telling you now, you're going to get caught. Anyway, for others of you, this heartbreak, this betrayal, this grief period that you're going through, this is temporary. This is going to pass. Wait till your next reading that I give. All right? Aquarius, you have the seven of wands. Aquarius, you have the seven of wands. With the seven of wands, you're standing up for yourself. You're going to defend yourself you're going to defend your name. You're going to defend your truth. You're going to also stand your ground in a situation. You're not going to back up. You're like, you know what? In the past, I've, I've let you walk all over me. I've let you say this. I've let you say that. And I never fought against it. But now, I'm going to stand up for myself. I'm going to tell the truth. Even if it means blowing everything out of the water. Because I'm going to put you on front street. I'm going to put you on front street. I'm going to put you on front street. Because you know what? I'm tired of you getting away with stuff that you've been doing that's not okay. This also may be a problem with a boss or employer. This may have to do with discrimination as well. Whatever's going on here, trust me, somebody's going to be found out about that. All right. Done with fire signs, done with air signs. Now we're on water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, starting with Cancer, Three of Cups. Ooh. Cancer, Three of Cups. All right, Cancer, coming together, celebrating friendships using the support that's around you. It also feels like you're you're wanting to not be alone. You're wanting to spend time with other people. You're almost, I don't want to say you're afraid to be by yourself, but you're not liking that. You're not liking that at all. You really, truly just want to spend your time around other people. You feel more safe. You feel more comfortable around that. But I do feel like there is a gathering, an event, a party, a celebration coming up that you're going to be invited to. All right. Pisces. You have the Nine of Pentacles. Pisces, Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles always talks about being very self-sufficient. Taking care of your own shit. Not depending on other people to get something done. Realizing that you're the one who has to be accountable and responsible. And you're taking that accountability and responsibility. You're going to be very soon experiencing a lot of financial stability, financial independence. Something's just about to break through. Either you're waiting for something to come in, maybe waiting for a check to come, a refund to come. Something's about to happen. It's like you're finally going to be able to enjoy something that's luxurious or you're wanting to make a purchase and that's going to come through. Scorpio, you have the Temperance card. Scorpio, with the Temperance card, you've got to learn to do things in moderation. Yeah. Buttons, you've got to learn to do things in moderation. You need to be patient. You need to have more self-control. There's something that you've been doing, Scorpio, that's kind of shady. Something that you know you shouldn't have done. It's almost like, you know, there are stories or you're telling stories and thinking that people believe you. They're just letting you tell your story. They're just letting you believe that they believe you, even though they don't, even though they can see right through you. Somebody's realizing, Scorpio, about an addiction. Somebody's also realizing that something's not on the up and up. But they're going to wait. Sometimes these people... Know that sooner or later, you're going to hang yourself. 
sooner or later, it's going to show and there's going to be a price to be paid. I don't know what's going on for the Scorpios, but I do feel like you either need to start now getting things done in moderation, not overdoing it, not overspending, not over drinking, not over taking medications, whatever it is that you're doing, Scorpio. You need to chill out really quick before you lose it all. You need self-control. I don't know what that's about, Scorpios. It may not be about drinking or pills. It may not be about money. But whatever it is, only you know. Again, this is general. But I have to tell you that someone can see right through you. And you're foolish enough to think they can't. Just saying. All right. Fire, air, water. Now, earth signs. Capricorn, Taurus. Virgo, Capricorn first, five of wands. Capricorn, five of wands. Always feeling like you're in a competition. Always feeling like you're not good enough. Always feeling like you need to prove something to someone. Always feeling like people are talking behind your back. Always feeling like you're the third wheel. You don't fit in. You're the black sheep of the family. Capricorn, couldn't be further from the truth. You face a lot of conflict and challenges because of the way you're thinking. This is more so you putting this negative energy in than anybody else. This is because of a past situation that you've allowed or have allowed your mind to believe is true. And it's not. I need you to really work on your self-esteem, your self-worth. I need you to know that you are enough. I need you to not give a shit what other people think about you. Because to be honest, it's none of your business or none of my business even what other people think of me and it's none of your business what other people think of you. What that means is, yeah, I know you care and I know you don't like it when people talk about you, but what that means is you can't change their mind. They're going to think what they want to think. They're going to believe what they want to believe. But at the end of the day, you got to still be you. If you're being true to yourself, and you're being honest and genuine with everyone else. Who cares what they think? All right? With the five of wands, avoid conflicts as much as possible. Sometimes there's so much bullshit that you have these conflicts, these arguments, these disagreements. And later on, you can't even remember what it started about. That goes to tell you that it was something else other than the actual argument. There was something else underlining that created this atmosphere of conflict, of uneasiness. Step back, Capricorn. Step back. Get into your own space. Meditate. Make a decision today that, you know what? I'm not going to argue about petty stuff. I'm not going to play this game. All right? Taurus. You have the Ace of Wands. Taurus, Ace of Wands. With the Ace of Wands, you have this urge to create a new project. You've had this feeling for quite some time, but either you didn't have the balls to do it, you didn't have the courage to do it, you didn't believe that it could possibly work, maybe you didn't feel like you had the finances to support something. But you know, there's something that's brewing within you, whether it's to write that book, whether it's to apply for a different job, whether it's to go back to school, this new project or new idea may need a little tweaking, but it can work. You may need to speak to someone else who can help you a little bit more with some ideas, and then you'll be able to bloom. Bloom like crazy, like that blooming onion. You'll be able to bloom. You're going to shine. You're about to rise, but you have to believe in yourself. How are you going to get other people to believe in yourself or what you create or what you do if you don't believe it, all right? Virgo, last but not least, last of our earth signs is Virgo. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. With the Knight of Cups, it talks about following your heart, following your dreams, 
Don't let, let past situations deter you from reaching your goal, your destiny. Don't feel like you may not be good enough for this person or that um, you may not have enough money for them or you may not live the luxurious lifestyle. You may not be able to impress them. Your prince or princess, charming, is on the way. You have to follow your heart. Follow your dreams. Don't be afraid of getting hurt again. Don't bring old business to the new business or you will sabotage. Don't start dating unless you feel like you're ready to let go of the past, put down your walls and move forward. As much as you want this, you're scared to death and I get that. But I also get that if you don't take a risk or a chance on love, you're never going to find it. All right. I am going to do one card for those of you who were spiritually led to see this video. If you were guided here and this video is in front of you, it's not an accident. You didn't come across my channel by chance. There was a reason you tuned in to H&G today. There's a reason that you were scrolling and saw this. There's a reason that you decided to watch. Please check your sun, moon, and rising signs. <clears throat> the card that comes up for today, the oracle card, is to pick and choose your battles. Pick and choose your battles. For some of you, you're ready to just argue about everything with everyone. For some of you, you're ready to try to control somebody, take the charge, take the lead, be their boss, act like their mother, act like their father. If you're in that relationship and the balance is off right now, make sure you're in the right role. Make sure you're not trying to get them to be you because you're never going to get you from them. They're always going to make their own choices and decisions. Right or wrong, that's what they're going to do. They're supposed to. It's part of their lesson, all right? Pick and choose your battles means learn what's worth arguing about and what's worth just letting somebody be wrong. Even though you know somebody's doing it wrong, saying it wrong, whatever. Sometimes you have to let them mess up in order to figure it out. If you're the one that's always saying, no, don't do it that way, do it this way. If you're the know-it-all all all the time, they can't learn. They're just going to feel bad like, like you think they're stupid. Or you like think they can't figure it out. Sometimes you have to let people figure it out. All right. All right, you guys. I haven't uploaded a video for quite a while. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope to see you guys live soon. I want to do um, mini, mini reads, which means like a three card message for your question. I want to do that this evening. So if you're going to be interested Tuesday night. Somewhere, somewhere between 9 and 11, I'll be coming on. Normally, my mini reads are 8888. This will be 5656. So I'm going to write that down. It'll be 5656. What's your question? Let me get three cards. Let me tell you what I see. Let's find out if it's worth your time. Worth, worth your energy, worth your effort, or if there's something new coming, something that you should really pay attention to. Maybe it's time to let go of something and move forward. Maybe it's time that you put your needs first before other people's. But come find out. So ask your question, get three card answer, along with spiritual messages. Send the 56, 56, to PayPal. Join me on my live. Look between 9 and 11 because I do have to go to work. So look for me between 9 and 11. Let's solve some of these mysteries, some of these questions, some of these issues that you haven't been able to resolve on your own. Let us help. Have a great day.